Hello and welcome to the Round 20 Injury Update presented by AA Vitality. So a couple of really good performances on the weekend, both AFL and VFL squads really fighting it out uh, to the very end in the fourth quarters and both having really successful outcomes in, the, in those fourth quarters. So um, it's a real good testament to the players and where they're at at the moment and how much they're committing to training and, and, we, and we pulled up um, from both of those games really well. Like there's a couple of bumps and bruises, but um, um, we've got one injury which we'll talk about in a minute, but uh, really the, the bill of health is becoming really good, which is, at this time of year is really positive because we can get most players out there to prepare and train during the week and then put in the performances like they did on the weekend in the fourth quarter. So really big tick for the, the players at the moment. So the first one from the VFL game um, that's injured is Finn McRae. He had an unlucky one on the weekend. Uh, copped a knock in his thumb, managed to play at the game under some discomfort and some pain, did some assessments on the sideline in that VFL game and, and things were tracking well. We went and got a precautionary x-ray post-game and that showed a really minor little crack in his thumb. Um, so it's on the, on the very minor end. He's off to see some specialists early in the week this week. Um, he'll have some sort of minor procedure done to that and it's around about a, a three to four week return to play time, time frame for Finn. So he'll, he'll miss a couple of weeks of training and then be able to build up his training after that point in time, so an unfortunate one from the weekend, but we're looking to get him back uh, before the season's done for a bit of game time um, towards the end of the year. Um, the two that were out from the weekend's game, so Will Hoskin Elliott, the first one, he had that broken hand last week, just wasn't quite ready when we got to the end of the week. Last week, uh, you know, ball handling was good, but then some impact and some tackling stuff wasn't quite ready to go. Um, he's now cleared all those markers over the weekend, put in a bit of work with our rehab team while we're away in Adelaide over the weekend, and uh, he's now clear and available this week, so should he get through training, uh, middle of the week this week, which we're not expecting any problems there. Will's name will come up on a team sheet come the weekend. And then the final one, Charlie Dean, um, he, he's back from a little bit of a break and a little bit of a deload period. He's now uh, real, in a really good spot after that deload period, so we're hopeful that that was going to really freshen him up and, and give him lots of energy and give the foot a bit more time to heal and settle, and he's functioning at a really high level. Should see him in some training drills this week, which is a really positive sign for Charlie, and then um, he can just keep on progressing and again building towards what will be a full pre-season for him next year. And that's all for the Round 20 Injury Update.